What's going on, everybody? Will, tangible triumph, life, inspiration, motivation. Today's topic's um, something I've been thinking about for quite some time now, and it's a discussion that necessarily isn't the easiest to uh, discuss, right? And that's that's regret taking hold. Um, regret is a funny thing. You regret can basically be tempted by the motion that, you know, in some type of way, we're soft, we messed up, we did the wrong thing, um, something didn't go right, right? Well, we all have a vision to change, and we all want things to change, and uh, whether, whether we want to admit it or not, in every corner of the world, there's a lot of things that need to change. There's many different forms of injustice. There's many different forms of um, identifying uh, problems, really. And, you know, instead of focusing on the seducing factor that you may get your five minutes of fame uh, rather than a, a lifetime change is something we have to focus on when it comes to making uh, dedicated decisions. If you're passionate about something and you full wholeheartedly believe it and and think that you should stick to it, then you need to um, create a message that's not unclear and, and not uncertain. Um, you know, depending on how something is delivered, uh, hindsight could be 2020, so they say. And looking back on life's decisions, it's okay to feel regret. Uh, but that's not something that you want to be okay with. We, we need to learn from regrets. We need to learn from mistakes, and we also need to learn on uh, uh, how we may have presented ourselves and how to not do it again, right? Um, so depending on how some, some forms of messages are delivered, uh, the interpre interpreter of the message could become em empathetic and join the team and praise the cause, or they can... Uh, you know, understand it as chaos and not want anything to do with it. So it really boils down to analyzing your own decisions. And tangible triumph is a way of living. Tangible triumph is an understanding that life works on life's terms. We have to build a bridge between our self-discovery, ourselves, and our mind with, with the real world and reality. And when you do that, you can become hyper-focused on making sense of what the world really is. We all have our place in this world. And I don't even know where mine is yet. I'm still figuring out things about myself every single day. What we can do is be fully aware that we have to bring our best version of ourselves to the table 10 out of 10 times. I have uh, seen many different situations in life and circumstances, and I've also been full of regret before. Um, and it's not a good, it's not a good feeling. Regret is one of the most powerful drivers that can take the, the wheel and guide your life into something that maybe it shouldn't even be. So, my full intent here is to discuss the topic that we don't want to be tempted by the motion that we, we must make a new story. There's no sense in making a new story. We just continue on writing a better one. And with writing a better story we're left with the opportunity to create the ending that we want. And, and previous regret can lead you into writing that successful story. We need to have a different approach to certain circumstances and situations to where we can make the story ours without feeling like we did something wrong or 
potentially could have had a better outcome to a story. I said it on Monday. We're all human. We all want to be accepted. We all want to live a productive life. And living a life full of regret isn't the answer. Regret can destroy everything that you've built for yourself and create chaos and harm. So with that thought, I just want to let each and every person out there know that before you make a decision, be sure it's a clear one and do your best to understand why you're doing what you're doing and when you're tr trying to send a message through make sure it's clear um you know i love all of you and anybody that's watching this video i love you and and you know the world is chaotic chaotic right now but we're we're in this together we're, we're, we're going to get there. Wherever we're headed, we're going. The sails are the sales are up. Now it's just a matter of getting the ship to where it needs to go. I just want to propose the idea that you need passion and not hate. And um, when you become so passionate about something that you can't have any regrets for what you're fighting for, that's when the message is clear. With that, I want you to have a good day. Um, Team Tangible here. As always, all rivers lead to the same ocean. And, uh, you know, have a great day. Peace.